Configuring flash cache in vSphere 6. Okay, you can add a flash storage to your ESXi host so that ESXi host can utilize that flash storage for caching. It can use that flash storage for host swap cache as well as it can use it for uh, VMDK read cache for your virtual machine because let's face it if you if you compare speed uh, in this order between these three like RAM SSD and regular disk so if RAM comes first definitely nothing better than RAM speed wise then in case if it needs to cache some information maybe swap or VMDK read cache to enhance the performance which will be better choice normal hard drive 15k RPM or SAS yeah SAS 15k RPM or 10k or near line SAS or SSD SSD of course right so that's the reason basically we want to add a flash drive or SSD drive to our ESXi host to so it can leverage on that how to enable it let's let's see here I'm on my East host ESXi2 all you have to do go to the settings right manage settings and here we have option virtual flash resource management and here we can add the capacity as you can see here we can add what the flash devices which are connected to our host to set up flash cache resource and this flash cache resource can be used of course for either or I'm actually for it can be used for both or one of them depends host swap cache or to configure virtual flash read cache for virtual disks okay so let's add the capacity here so if I go to add capacity uh, my ESXi2 I have these four flash drives I would like to choose the one which is 40 gigs and I would like to add this one for the first flash cache. So now it's adding the flash cache or okay, resource that's completed. And as you can see, the capacity is 38.8 gigs out of this much. Total capacity 39.75. Provisioned space for virtual flash cache, cache read is 972. So it Provision the space for virtual flash uh, cache. That's 972 MB, and the remaining free space is 38.8 gig. Okay, that's fine. And here I can see same details here: total capacity, provision space, and free space after that. If I go to virtual flash host swap cache currently the host swap cache for for I mean um, flash host swap caches set to zero I can try here I can go to edit and enable it and I can see minimum one gig maximum 38 because of depends on depends on the size of SSD and in my case, as you, as you know, the 38 is the remaining capacity because the rest are one gig. It's been used for, you know, virtual disk uh, flash read cache. I can say, let's say 12 gigs. I would like to use for host swap cache, for example. And if I say OK, it 
it's done. So you see now, now the capacity, if I go back to the flash resource management, it will tell me that 26.8 gigs remaining free out of 39.75. So total capacity 27.75, provisioned space for virtual flash read cache 972 MB, right? And remaining is 26.8 because the rest of the 12 gig I have configured for host swap. So single hard drive, I use it as a flash cache. Flash cache is the general term. It depends. We are talking about flash cache for host swap or flash read cache for virtual disks. Don't forget, when you're talking about flash read cache for virtual disk, means for virtual machines read cache. And it's read, not write. Any writing it will occur to the actual VMDK. Read definitely can be cached to enhance the performance. So it's a read cache. So this is it, guys. This is a... Uh, this I wanted to demonstrate that how to configure flash cache, whether it's a read cache for a virtual disk or flash host swap for yeah, for host. So this is it and I'll see you in another video. Thank you.